This video has been brought to you by Skillshare, an online community with thousands of great classes for creators. Ahoy! In today's video, I got five tips how to get the most out of one single Instagram shoot in 2021. And if you are new here, my name is Zden Carrerola. This channel is all about photography and video. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. New month is here and I'm here at this beautiful location to get as much content as possible, as many photos and videos and reels for my Instagram and other social media. Ideal would be post every single day. And here comes tip number one, and that is planning the content. I've noticed that on Instagram, the best photos perform are the ones where actually there is a person in the shot. I've posted so many photos of beautiful locations and just items and stuff, but they don't get nearly as much attention as if I'm actually myself somewhere in the photo. So the plan for next few weeks is to shoot 95% of photos where I am myself in the shot and the rest will be just locations. And also I'm planning 80% of photos and 20% of videos or reels. I might try now wider look. So I'm gonna go to 15. I'm seeing that tree over there is the favorite tree, but the thing is, I don't know how much connection I'm gonna get with the phone, with the camera. I'm gonna try to make my way there. Tip number two would be don't go crazy with the equipment. Don't bring everything you own. What I like to bring is, first of all, my smartphone, iPhone 12 Pro, and I also like to bring a gimbal and this little plug-in microphone. They sell them fairly cheap on Amazon. I'm gonna link it below. I could just do the reels and the content with my smartphone, but sometimes it's better actually to use the gimbal's apps because they have so many cool features. You can use it for those reels. When it comes to camera, I like to connect it with my smartphone and I use Canon M6 Mark II. Um, the Canon app allows me to see the preview very nicely on the screen and I can tap on my face to focus and then take the shot. I have it set up on timer, it's for 10 seconds. You also want to bring good variety of lenses. Today I just brought two. I bought just a kit lens, 15 to 45 millimeters, because I want to get the overall shot that I'm actually a little small in the middle. And then I brought just one prime lens, Viltrox 23 millimeters f 1.8. And this will be a whole bunch of playful photos, just because I did the serious ones. And so I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of fun stuff here. <laughs> Tip number three, be careful so you don't end up with the same photos over, over, over again. What I mean by that, so your expression is not always the same, always serious or always mysterious looking or always smiling. So you're not always doing the same pose over, over again. So you're not always in the center of the photo. Use different focal lengths. But what I'm gonna say now, authenticity was huge last year and it's gonna be huge again and it's gonna be huge in the future. People simply want to see the real you. I'm going to share a simple shot list which I bring with me in case I get stuck and I kind of run out of the ideas to remind me what else I can get. Here it is. Wide shots where person is quite small, hero shot, person is quite bigger, possibly looking over beautiful location, full body shot, side shot, back shot, silhouette, close up face shot, body parts such as holding a camera or shoes, positions, standing, sitting, action shots such as jumping and running, expressions, serious, dreaming, smiling, sexy, authentic, being very real, doing something caught in the moment and humorous.
If you are enjoying this tutorial, then you might be also enjoying more classes at Skillshare. There are always new premium classes being launched. There are no ads, as it is specifically curated for learning. You can learn anything about illustration, graphic design, photography, animation, fine art, marketing, and much more. I recently watched class iPhone Photography – How to Shoot and Edit Conceptual Photos on Your Phone by Emily Setzer. It is in-depth class, which teaches you everything. I really enjoy this, because iPhone can take really great photos, so why not step it up even further with conceptual photos? You will learn how to look for an idea, how to create a mood board, what equipment you need, the shooting process, and mainly, how to edit the final masterpiece. Very interesting class. The first thousand people who use the link in my video description will receive a one-month free trial to Skillshare Premium. You can find the link in the video description below, so you can explore your creativity. Tip number four choose the right time of the day. If you're going to be filming at noon, you're not going to get the best lighting. And if you're going to be shooting in the evening, perhaps on the beach, it might not be a good idea either because it might be packed with people. Mornings would be probably your best bet. I know it's kind of painful to get up in the morning and I know myself because I'm doing this all the time, but it is such a high reward. It's very high rewarding. You know why? Because you're going to get the location to yourself. You're going to get the best light and you're not going to have any spectators. You can do whatever you want. If you want to do evening shoes, then you might choose the locations where there are not too many people, nature perhaps. Tip number five, try to think of the story and what you want to capture. Some photos might look completely different if you're going to take them with a prime lens, with a very low aperture and everything will be blurry behind you. Some photos will look completely different if you're going to take them with a wide angle lens and a higher aperture that everything will be in the focus. And if you're going to be filming just location, don't forget to bring ND filter in case you want to get those still water shots and also polarizer if you want to get rid of all the reflection in the water. I think I've got enough of photos. Well, hit the thumbs up if you like today's video and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, comments, you know what to do, leave it below. And I'll see you, my friends, in the next video. Ciao. Ahoy.